welcome back to So Biased. This episode I'm super excited about. Tell me you've been watching The Queen's Gambit because if you haven't, you need to go watch The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. It is a fabulous story about a female chess player who is an absolute prodigy. The fashion is wonderful. It takes place in what I assume to be the late 40s, 50s and 60s and they follow her journey through becoming an orphan to becoming a chess champion and her fashion evolves over the course of time. I would love to do a deep dive analysis of all of the costumes in this because they are exquisite. And one thing I didn't notice until it was pointed out is that pretty much all of Beth Harmon's dresses have a check pattern and it's not like a plaid or a tartan. It is always like a gingham or a window pane check so it is a chessboard. So pretty much all of her outfits have some allusion to chess in them, including her final outfit, which is intended to be the White Queen. Isn't that perfect? I love, I love, love when the costumes are telling the story too. I've decided to do the black and white Czech gingham dress that she wears for her tournament in Vegas. And it's a very 1950s circle skirt style. In the show, she's always wearing a little bolero jacket with it and I'm not making the jacket, and you can't really tell if it has sleeves or not, though you can see her armpit very briefly for like one second. I watched this scene a lot. So um, it may have sleeves, it may not. Um, I'm adding a little cap sleeve to it because I got some chicken wings going on. I went through a whole, a whole lot, oh God, a whole lot of production stills from this show with a lot of scrutiny. And I noticed that the dress, rather than having a bodice and a skirt, uh, the pieces go straight down from the top to the bottom. It's very similar to my Vogue 2903 pattern, which I used for the Vancouver Connects dress. And so I'm gonna be doing this pattern for the dress. The only difference is the center panel in Beth's dress is a solid piece and it's cut on the bias. So I'm gonna have to pull this fabric on the bias and cut a piece, the center piece on the fold instead of cut it as two separate pieces. And it's a check. So the fabric I decided to use is this wonderful black and white gingham. It's a quarter inch square. And the reason I did a quarter inch is I checked the stills very closely and it's not super, super tiny. It's pretty small. But the other reason is when you're doing filming and you have a very, very small pattern, particularly anything with lines or a repeating pattern, is you can have this effect called moiré. It's also pronounced moiré, but it's a French word and in French it's pronounced moiré or moiré. And what can happen is in a really, really small pattern that's repeating, you can get this kind of wavy effect in the film because it's, it's, a, it's basically an optical illusion that the camera picks up just because it can't pick up every single detail in a really tiny print. So if they had gone for a super, super small check, it probably would have not looked as good on the screen. So I think they went for a slightly larger check. I'm hoping at some point to do a breakdown of all the costumes in this movie because they are wonderful. They are such a great way to tell story and such a great way to influence character because what's not to like? Strong female protagonist who actually defeats a whole lot of her male colleagues without feeling the need to do all of the emotional labor to deal with their defeat. Female character who is flawed and nuanced but isn't fixed by meeting a man. Female character who is excellent at what she does without feeling the need to be apologetic or downplay her excellence. Nuanced people who have actual character flaws and deal with them. So until then, Let's get sewing. For this project, I managed to find, I think what is the perfect size of gingham. It's a black and white gingham and it's a quarter inch check. It's a wool blend. I think it's 70% wool and it's lightweight enough that it should be really comfy, but it has a really nice drape to it. So I think it should look nice as a dress and especially as a full circle skirt. All right, this is how I'm gonna deal with the problem of this dress is it's very obvious the center front is at a diagonal. This front piece is not meant to be cut on a fold, uh, but I'm gonna. 
Um, there's a little bit of a taper at the waist, so I'm just gonna not do that and then just keep it on the fold just to keep the pattern. And I can adjust that in the other seams later, so that's okay. So I folded the fabric at a 90 degree angle, so I get this nice 90 degree angle. So I get the diagonal and the bias, and then the fabric is crawling away. And then pinned the center front seam along the fold. So I'm gonna cut it out and hopefully that should allow it to match. Okay, whoever cut this on a bias, I need, we need to have a talk. This is, this is a thing. All right, so pieces are cut out and step one, if you remember, because this is the same pattern I did for the Canucks dress, is so side front panels to the front. You can see the wool is already fraying really badly. So I have opted to do French seams for this guy as well, which is interesting for the bust, but but they turned out really pretty and that should hopefully deal with all the fraying problems. So I'm gonna do French seams for the whole thing. Um, I made it a size bigger than I probably need, so I should have extra space to make that happen. And you can see the V-neck is on that perfect bias because, uh, that took up a lot of fabric. Uh, so next step is center back to the side back pieces and then front to back. And back is done as well. Well, mostly done. And these are the side panels, center panels, and then it's open at the center back for the closure. Um, next up, I am going to do front to back at the sides. And the French seams are looking great. They are pretty. The raw seams are fraying all the hell. So French seams, yeah, I'm a convert. The dress itself is sewn together and I'm gonna do a fitting, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like doing the fitting right now. So I went on and I did the hem. There's this black strip uh, that goes all the way along the bottom of the skirt. And so I just used, I got this black wool tropical suiting and it's really lightweight for wool, but it has a little bit of a heft to it. So it's gonna help draw the hem draw the hem down so it has a little bit of weight. So I cut out a six inch strip and folded it in half. I just attached it to the hem and I French seamed it. So the next problem I'm encountering is with the facing on the front. So it has this facing piece and this pattern has a facing piece but it doesn't quite work. And the facing is not cut on the bias, it's cut on the straight. So you have the grain meeting in the middle. And it doesn't quite attach to the dress. If you're doing the wide facing, it attaches right to the dress and then it's just turned onto the inside, which I don't want because if you look at the photos of the Queen's Gambit dress, it's definitely not doing this. You can definitely see the bottom and sides are not attached to the dress. So I can't quite do this because it'll turn out weird. So I've cut out these diagonal pieces. I am going to attach two of them together at the front so I get that nice straight pattern. And then I am going to probably just attach it lightly at the neckline. I have to also do a, another black piece, so I'm gonna put the black piece at the top here as I sew it together so I can encapsulate all that seam allowance together on the inside. Okay, so you've already had a walk. You've already had dinner. You've already had treats and chewies. What is it you want? You just need more love. Oh, <laughs> yep, look at the tail. Super waggage. Oh, you're the cutest. Maybe you should have a nap. Okay, I figured out the collar. Um, I ended up cutting four pieces on the diagonal. The problem is in the picture, it actually lines up on the straight. So I managed to, I haven't, I haven't ironed this yet, but I will iron it. I managed to line it up so it's straight down the center and I sewed in, I made it a tube and I sewed the black facing into it. So I'm gonna press all of this down and I'm gonna sew it. That angle is wrong, but I'm gonna cut it off at the angle and I'm gonna sew it into the shoulders and then I'm gonna tack it in so it lays 
flat, but isn't obviously like sewn right down to the neckline. Next up are sleeves. I think I'm gonna do a little of the black facing on these two because I find that really cute. And then I am going to sew, I'm gonna sew them together at, down the middle and then I'm going to pin them to the dress and I'm gonna sew it in and I'm gonna do French seams on that as well. Color has been pressed down and is laying super nicely flat, which I love. I had to trim off some of that seam allowance because it was hella bulk. And then it is going to get pinned down to the collar. I'm just gonna trim it off at the shoulders here and I'm gonna sew it like right into the shoulders so it lays flat. And the actual dress, it looks like it's kind of like free floating to a certain degree. So I am going to sew it in and then tack probably just here and it'll already be attached to the shoulder. So that should be fine. Um, I also pressed down the little peplum sleeves and I am going to sew these together and then I'm gonna sew them onto the dress. Nope, I'm a big fat liar. I need to do a fitting first because I can't sew arms in until I sew shoulders and I can't sew shoulders until I do fitting. So I did a fitting and I'm taking about this much off. What's that, about like, probably closer to a half inch. Off of the waist, fits nicely in the bust. So this is coming off the waist on each of the side seams. So all the panels are getting about a half inch taken off. And then I'm gonna do another fitting and then I'm gonna put the shoulders together, then I'm gonna do the arms because order of operations is important. Okay, this is after fitting and it fits really nicely. It is some like, it's a bit booby. Like let's, we're gonna have to move <laughs> these shoulders up just a little bit and there will be the collar page color piece, but so. Uh. So I pinned it, I'm not sure if you can see right here. So I'm gonna take a couple inches off of the shoulders just so it doesn't hang down quite so low. And then we're gonna put the collar on and put the sleeves on, but oh, look how cute. It is very cute. I like it. Oh, geometry. The geometry, the geometry of this has been killing me, but I think I finally got it working. So I sewed this collar facing into the shoulder seams where I needed to have it taken in. And then I sewed the sleeves in, being careful to make sure that the collar is facing the right way. And then there is this facing piece on the inside. I just used some salvage because it doesn't matter because it's on the inside. So I sewed that together. I'm not bothering with French seams here and I'm gonna press that down. So the facing goes all the way. This is the, this is the inside of the front and it goes all the way through into the back. Now, normally the facing is a solid piece in the back, but I wanna do a zipper all the way up to the top and I have to do some fitting in the back. So I am going to just Turn this over. Oh, hi. You gonna come keep me company? Oh, and little wags. You a good girl. Oh, big yawns. Okay, you have naps. So yeah, the back here, I am going to turn it under um, and I'm gonna be attaching the zipper to the back. So facing is done. Collar, front piece is attached. Sleeves are attached. And I'm just gonna be pressing all these seams because it is wool and it does not want to sit flat. I'm gonna tack this in place. I'm gonna tack these in place. And then I think it's just closures. We're almost done. Yay! I think the hand sewing is done. Um, I started by hand sewing the facing, the inside of the facing to the shoulders. So I hand sewed that down and then sewed uh, the facing down to whoop, 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 the inside seam here, just so you don't see any of the stitches on the outside. You can see a few of my little crappy <laughs> stitches. It's meant to be tacking, it just holds it in place. And so I sewed that down the back and then I sewed the edge of the facing down to, uh, I didn't sew it to the zipper, but I sewed it down to the, the little seam allowance under the zipper. Right in the border between the, the black and the check, I did a very fine running stitch. Oh wow, you really can't see it. Go me. The rest of the facing is tacked down, the zipper is in place and finished and looks really nice. I ended up having to take out a lot out of the butt. Uh, I need to tuck in just the bottom of the zipper there and finish that. But other than that, 
I think. Oh, I think that's the dress done. Oh my God, is it done? Am I really done? We'll do a final fitting, but I might, I might legit be done. So that is the dress. It is a great fit. Oh, it's so comfy too. Just that tiny little bit of tailoring makes it fit like a glove. And I love the little cap sleeves and it's so much fun to wear. I feel, I feel all of my swishy twirly vibes and twirling in a full circle skirt is a mood. You need one in your life. You, it's 2020. You deserve a full circle skirt in your life to get all of your twirling vibes on. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you're watching it, what you think of the Queen's Gambit, what you think of the dresses or the costumes, what you think of my take on the costumes, anything else you'd like to see me recreate. Not doing the 60s though. I don't do mod. I am not built for, no. I got, no, boobs. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell if you haven't already because I notice I have a lot more subscribers than views. So I think some of you may not be getting notifications when I upload. So please hit the little bell below to get notifications every time I upload. Please feel free to comment with anything you enjoyed, ideas for future projects, anything you're working on. I would love to hear from you guys because all the comments have been super positive and you people are so lovely and it's wonderfully rewarding to hear from all of you. Until then, stay happy and healthy, take care of each other, and see you next time. Bye! And twirling in a full circle skirt. And there's this black stripe. Well, black. Meh. Meh. The next problem I'm encountering meh, is thread sticking to my hand. Okay. <laughs> no. Go away. Stay.